guys, welcome back to my channel once again. And I want to shout out to all my subscribers, my old subscribers for keeping me here. I love you that you keep leaving your comments and making me feel good. And for my new subscribers, I thank you so much for joining this family. And if it's the first time you're watching, know that you're going to enjoy the journey as you subscribe. Please do not forget to subscribe. Click on the notification bell so that you can get notification whenever I post a video, like, share, and leave a comment so that we can work together. So in my last video, I talked about five lucrative business ideas that you can do with little or no capital. I said I'm going to give 10, and so this, I gave five in my last video, and this is the remaining five. I know it seemed like, oh, I'm a graduate, I can't do these jobs. Well, a bear is at hand is, um, sorry, I, I can't remember the added, but I know they say something about a bear at hand and something, something, something. But it's better to be doing something than not doing anything at all. So let's just dive in. The, the, the sixth one, let me use it like that, let me continue. The sixth one is selling bill material. Okay, okrika. Selling okrika, secondhand clothes, or selling fabrics. If you go on Instagram right now, selling fabrics is like a hub. There's a woman that I actually saw like two years ago, I think when, during the COVID um, time, nearly they lifted it. You know, a lot of people lost their jobs. And she started this secondhand um, market business. And she started very small. She didn't even have a, a mannequin. She didn't have an umbrella. She was sitting outside. And little by little, she was selling. You could see the growth rate. And this is um, one year down the line. She has a mannequin and she has a canopy over her head. And that is like gradual growth rate. It's not every time we should look for uh, money that is just at a time. But, but instead of just doing nothing, we should just try to do something. So number seven on the list is making of hair. If you're skillful with braiding hair, fixing with bonds, Please do not sit at home. Anything concerning us women, it's always lucrative. If you can do that, don't say you don't have a nine to five job and you're waiting for a nine to five job. If you can make hair, you can braid hair, you can fix hair, you can fix nails, you can do things in salon. Please, there, there are home services you can do if you don't even want to have, you, you don't have money to open a shop right now. There are home services you can do. Oh my wish I had another phone. My environment right now, there is a woman under a shade. She has two kids. She just started it like six months ago and her customer clientele has increased because she knows how to do, but she didn't have, she doesn't have a, a shop right now. And I'm sure that as she continues, she does home services too. I'm sure as she continues, it will increase. So that is one business that just your hands will give you money. You don't need to have plenty capital to want to go and open a, a store. Another one is that you can actually make going to making juice and smoothies. Right now we are in a time whereby everybody is doing, wants to go to healthy living. And making healthy drinks is what we are going for. It might be expensive, but then again, I would rather drink that than drink carbonated drinks. I watched a video that a woman posted online and talking about our um, I think the product, uh, let me remove the name of the product, but it's a carbonated drink in a can and she says she normally just opens it and puts it in her mouth. But that day she noticed that there was something wrong with the cover. It's, it's in a carton, it's a carton container. So she removed it and she decided to pour it into a glass cup and lo and behold it came out ugly. By the time she opened the whole stuff, I, I think I was irritated with the video. Anytime I think about it, it's gross. So if I see somebody actually making fresh juice or smoothie, I would definitely pay extra to drink that, that I know that, oh, see, this is how they process it. There is a girl that was doing this juice, and um, she does orange juice, watermelon juice. She has a manual juicer in town, and she makes it so chilled and so fresh. You're seeing it. It's even calling you, buy me, buy me. You know what you're getting is authentic and is real. So going into business like this, making of juices and smoothies is a lucrative business idea right now because everybody wants to leave carbonated drinks and go for healthy living, healthy drinks that will not contaminate your insides. So and really will actually affect your skin positively and your health. So these are this is a good business idea. Another one that is very lucrative that you don't actually need any capital for is cleaning services 
I have someone cleaning for me now and all she does is with her hands and then she gets paid at the end of the month so what you need is your strength and I asked her one day I said have you ever thought about taking your business higher you know registering a business name then getting workers that are reliable and trustworthy to work under you not really in the same place while you're here doing business they might be working for you in two three four other places and as they get paid for the fact that you refer them to other people you get your own percentage from it and that is a business idea with little or no money cleaning services is what every is what is what is a business we're going into right now because um, working moms don't have that opportunity to actually take care of their home or even though you're not even a working mom sometimes it's so difficult to actually man the house by yourself doing all the cleaning raising kids and everything so cleaning business services laundry services it's a lucrative business idea that you can go into with little or no finances and that should be like my oh there is also <laughs> there's also sell a um, barber shop Yes, I, I wouldn't leave that out. Cutting of hair is, is actually a lucrative business that you can go into without little or no money. And it's, it's a nice one. So if you think about this business that you can get into, that you don't need huge capital. Actually, even selling of provisions. Selling of provision, buying and selling. People will come around your area, they want to get match, matchbox, they want to get sweets, they want to get biscuits and all that. Little you know it you next thing you're opening a supermarket and everybody's purchasing from you